On January 27, 2015, we had a little girl, Madeline, and she ended up having some complications. She swallowed some fluid at birth and she was admitted to the NICU. She developed an infection that ultimately she never did recover from and passed away. We wanted to somehow honor her and uh, help the community by starting a charity. Our mission through Madeline's Fund is to help families in need who have a child in the NICU with related expenses as well as those who experience the loss of a child to help them with the funeral costs. In the last year we've been able to help over 150 families with rent, utilities, gas cards, supplies. Um, we've been able to start hosting dinners up at the NICU. 30 of those families we've helped with funeral expenses. So we're really picking up the requests. So we don't anticipate that changing. All of our NICU families have access to Madeline's Fund. Um, we assess all of our families' needs when they come into the hospital. They're able to provide so many different things to our families. A lot of our families live far away and get transferred in for the level of care, so gas cards are such a huge help for our families. A lot of families end up having to take off a long time from work during the time that their baby is hospitalized, and so this helps kind of bridge that financial gap for them while their baby's with us. If it's their car is broken down or they need help with rent, really anything they can help with. So we work with them a lot. In the last couple of months, we've been averaging helping one family a day. And we're honored to be able to do that just because of the support in the community that we've been given. Lineberger Orthodontics has been extremely generous to us and this year um, is going to be able to allow us to help so many families. So we're just so grateful for their support. Right off the bat, it struck home with us just because we have kids similar age to um, Andy and Rachel. It grabbed us immediately because we have had several friends whose children or babies have had to spend time in the NICU. And we have seen, you know, through them just how difficult it was on them and um, how trying it was for them. And if we could get in and help out with something like that, that was just an amazing idea to us. Our request can average from, you know, a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars so depending on the requests we get we really need that funding so we can continue to support these families. It's always good to to hear that you, what you're doing is actually helping and actually uh, making an impact on these families lives. Caden was born October 17th 2017. He was born with um, E. coli. He was in the NICU for 14 days. They did rigorous procedures and um, had emergency surgery. They said he would gone into liver failure and that he needed to be transferred to Duke. When we arrived to Duke is when one of the NICU nurses had sent me a message talking about Madeline's Fund. So um, we had reached out to Madeline's Fund while we were in the waiting room, uh, waiting to go back and see Caden at Duke. And at that point, it wasn't liver failure. They were more concerned of his heart and his lungs. And by 1.45 a.m., Caden actually passed at Duke. So I had to send another email to Madeline's Fund stating that he had passed, that we needed help for his funeral expenses. Never would I thought it would cost more to get him back home than it would be to, you know, have a ceremony for him. And it was to the point where all I wanted was to bring them home and they were able to help me do that. I mean, they were beyond a blessing to us. It's just so much stress off of you to know that in the, these times that they are somebody there to help us in the community. We would love to just continue to this to just kind of snowball, really help as many families as we can.